of their man's best friend. But what happens when your dog has a problem you cannot fix? Well, Australia's dog whisperer, Nathan Williams, always knows what to do and says any dog can be cured of problems. Jamie went along to meet an owner who's been driven barking mad. All right, this is it. Now let's see how bad the dogs are. Oh, imagine that every time somebody knocks on the door. Hello? Who's at the door? Who is it? Who is it? Hello? Oh, they're cute. They're so cute. Noisy, but cute. It's Uncle Jamie. That's, yeah. that's normal though, isn't it? That is pretty normal. Yeah, yeah okay. Now, now give me a bit of background on Bronte. Um, she's a Cavalier Poodle Cross, we think. Okay. Um, she was rescued from the RSPC, by the RSPCA from a puppy farm mm -hmm. up north and that's apparently what they were breeding. And she's ever so cute. I think she's ever so cute. Yeah, yeah. she's beautiful. But she's nice. She's noisy. Yeah. She's noisy and she's neat. So, so, so what are the main problems? Well, there's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> He's barking, barking at, the at the door. Does it drive you bonkers? drives me absolutely <laughs> mad. I love her, but it drives me mad. And why are you looking for help now? We're actually expecting a baby in the beginning, beginning of October. Oh, nice one! And so we're a little bit concerned that if she's not coping with the noise outside, she's not going to cope too well with the noise inside. Yeah, um, right. All right, let's see what we can do to help Bronte out, huh? OK. We're bringing in the big guns, Nathan Williams, a dog psychologist and behaviour expert who has a, get this, 100% success rate. He's devoted his life to helping owners get to the bottom of their canine problems. OK, Nathan, you're here to solve the problems. You, you yes. know the story with Bronte? Uh, she barks at the door all the time, she's nervous, yep. she gets bullied by the other dog. What are you going to do? I'm going to walk in there and start addressing the dog straight away. I uh, understand that Edwina's been having a lot of problems with the dog barking and I'm, I'm here to help. All right, fantastic. And you brought a horse with you. <laughs> yeah. Look at the size of that! Is it our baby bull mastiff, Hugo? Uh, he's going to come in, he's going to stimulate the dog's barking and we're going to snap him out of that behaviour. Oh, and there they go. They've started already. I'm going to go inside and wait for you, all right? OK, great. So Edwina and I waited for Nathan to knock on the door and also for the barking that would inevitably follow. Interesting. <laughs> The dogs were immediately on their guard. They even started to use hand signals and sounds to calm them down, and it took just nine seconds until there was silence. Nathan, that was amazing, mate. What exactly did you do apart from... Basically, the dogs were telling me that they had control, and I told them that they didn't. I told them I had control, and they gave up. OK. Did you make the dogs scared of you? No, not at all. Um, You'll notice that they'll hang around me, they'll they'll come over to me. Um, so yeah, there's no there's no fear about it at all. It's just clear communication. Okay. More so the dogs will be drawn to me because they'll feel strong leadership. The next step was Edwina learning the techniques she needed to show the dogs who was boss. Then it was the pram challenge. Previously, every time Edwina had set up her new baby's pram, Bronte would bark and run away from it. Nathan taught Edwina how to keep Bronte calm and how to get her used to the pram. And the results were incredible. Bronte became quiet, confident, and relaxed around it, much to Edwina's relief. Finally, the ultimate test. How would the dogs act around Hugo? Whereas before, Bronte and Olive would go crazy around another dog, it was fantastic to see that with Nathan's techniques, the dogs didn't feel the need to bark defensively. They were unruffled by Hugo, and I think they might even have made friends. It's not so much their naughty dogs, it's just a, a matter of them trying to take control of the home? Yeah, they're, they're confused, they, they don't know who's meant to be doing what and they don't know what their role is, but they're just in an effort to do what they think is right. Yeah, because that's amazing, I mean, Bronte has not done that all morning. <laughs> I mean, what's that a sign of? Yeah, well, she's really relaxed now, so when a dog gives up and they don't have the stress of that job, yeah. we've just handed her a timing package. I love it. Uh, Nathan and Edwina and Hugo and uh, and Oscar, so uh, Bronte rather, are with us. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That was quite amazing. How long did it take you to settle uh, settle him down? Actually, it was quicker than normal. Um, it took about eight or nine seconds, I think it was. Wow. Did you ever believe, Edwina, that he could mm. do that in that short amount of time or do it at all? Uh, I was pretty impressed, to be honest with you. I hadn't seen anyone How else big a problem has it become? Um, 
Look, a reasonably big problem. We live in a fairly busy street and every time someone walks past, she barks, so... That's annoying. They hear somebody on the street and they go nuts. Absolutely. Okay. Um, how did you do it? Let's recap, because I know watching as we speak, people have a lot of barking dogs out there. Yeah, absolutely. I know of a few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do, what do people do? Uh, well, normally it's from when the dog's born, uh, people let the dog get away with barking. So sometimes when a puppy barks, it's cute, um, and they let the dog get away with it. But um, to stop and prevent... <laughs> Look at this. He's uh, a big boy, this one. To stop and prevent, you need to understand why the dog's barking mm -hmm. and basically correct the behaviour in a way that the dog understands. How? Quick version of that. Uh, what did you do then? Well, I'm using body language, um, and I'm also using a, a technique that the dog understands. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's, there's a bit to it, so... There's Have no... you been able to manage Edwina this since Nathan left? <coughs> Look, Nathan actually gave us some really easy tips that made sense. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was have about taking worked? control. Yeah, they have. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and... get starting to work. Okay, and in October you're having another baby. You do not want barking at the baby. Yeah. And again, what tip have you been given for that? Again, it's it's about... Um, Nathan sort of taught us about showing control and, and teaching the dog that... Um, that, that we sort of are in control. You've got to be number one and then number two. Is it simple as that? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Well, I love it. Love it. Edwin and Nathan, thank you. And thank you, kids. You've been very well behaved this morning. No barking from you. You've been very good. Okay, we've got more coming up.